Given how popular live streaming is these days, it's really no surprise at all that unsuspecting spectators may become witnesses to disturbing events such as this one. In June of 2016, 28-year-old Antonio Perkins was streaming live on Facebook outside of his home. The stream started out like any other casual live broadcast. Perkins could be seen greeting neighbors and occasionally glancing back at his screen. Overall, nothing out of the ordinary. The stream then takes a sudden turn for the worse, when out of nowhere, gunshots could be heard and the camera drops to the floor, now showing what appears to be blades of grass coated in Perkins' blood. The video cuts to black. However, the audio continues on, capturing the screams of mortified bystanders. Perkins was rushed to the hospital, but unfortunately did not survive the ordeal. He was pronounced dead as the result of gunshot wounds to both his head and neck. So far, his killer has yet to be identified. Our next story is especially tragic, and one that you may have already heard about in recent news. Just a few days before the start of 2017, a 12-year-old Georgia girl by the name of Caitlin Nicole Davis broadcasted her own suicide to anyone who was unfortunate enough to be watching. The full, uncensored video lasts over 40 minutes long, and begins with Caitlin walking over to a tree where she begins to tie a rope around one of its branches. After reciting her final words, Caitlin hangs herself, and the video ends with off-screen voices calling out to her, unaware that she had already passed away. The recorded livestream of Caitlin's death quickly found its way back online and soon went viral. While many are generally misinformed about this event, thinking that this girl committed suicide after being rejected by a boy, her social media would say otherwise. In various blog posts and YouTube videos, Caitlin detailed her history of depression and alleged sexual abuse at the hands of her stepfather. Which... <laughs> Which I had a stepfather, but he tried to rape me. And he told me I should go hang myself because I was worthless. I was a worthless whore. Sorry. <laughs> In November of 2016, two Russian teenagers by the names of Katya and Dennis shocked the world as they streamed a standoff and shootout with police live via Periscope. The pair, both 15 years old, claimed to be madly in love. However, their families unfortunately did not approve of them being together. Tensions between the couple and their families escalated following an argument over a sleepover. The conflict resulted in Dennis shooting Katya's mother in the leg and led to the teenagers running away together and barricading themselves in Katya's stepfather's home, along with several firearms and a considerable amount of alcohol. During the stream, the girl stated that the items all belonged to her stepfather, who she claimed was a part of the special forces. Over the next three days, the teenagers streamed themselves playfully firing away, eventually turning their guns on police who were attempting to get them to peacefully surrender. By the third day, the couple's mood shifted. No longer their playful selves, the two contemplated what would happen once they surrendered, eventually coming to the conclusion that they would rather die together than face jail time separated from one another. Once police were finally able to break into the house, they were met with a gruesome discovery. Katya and Dennis decided to, as the pair called it, go out in style. They were both found dead with what appeared to be self-inflicted gunshot wounds. <laughs> 